Hello guys, welcome back to Good Show Tips. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to fix Siri is not working in your iPhone. You can try these steps not only for iPhone 14, 14 Pro Max. You can also try for the segments like iPhone 30 and even in 12 and in your all the segments. So if you're having the trouble with Siri is not working, then you can follow these kind of instructions over here. The first one is all about you have to make sure that you're having proper internet connection. So over here, you can depend on both, either on the cellular data or the Wi-Fi. So if you're having the cellular data, make sure that the cellular data is working fine and you're not having any kind of issues with all these. So you have to check that is whether you are having good internet connection. So right now, as you can see, I'm having the problem with the cellular data. So which is resulting in the problem with the Siri. So if the cellular data is not working, then I request you have to depend on the Wi-Fi. For this, just go over here, turn on the Wi-Fi. And once you connected to the Wi-Fi, you have to make sure that, that the internet connection is working. So once you make sure the internet connection is fine with both the Wi-Fi and the cellular data, then you can try with the Siri and whether the issue is solved or not. So this is the first and foremost step. So after trying this, if it's still not working, we can move to the next step. Next step is you have to turn on the airplane mode and you have to wait at least for 10 to 20 seconds, then turn it off. Sometimes a simple airplane mode can fix a lot of issue. Next, you have to go over here at the top. Now from here, you can see the airplane mode, tap on this. Now you just need to wait at least for 10 to 20 seconds. Once done with this one, just turn it off then you have to see whether the Siri is working or not. Most probably trying with the airplane mode must be fixing the issue so you can try this out. Next one is all about nothing but you can try with the next step that is all about it's a force restart. For force restart you have to press volume up over here followed by volume down you have to press and hold the power button in your iPhone. For this let me show you just press volume up followed by volume down you have to press and hold the power button unless and until you see the Apple logo and that's what you have to do when it comes to full restart. So you have to wait unless and until you see the Apple logo. So once the force restart is done, you can go back and you can give the respective passcode and the next step is all about you have to do is what you need to do is just need to check whether the Siri is turned off instead of turning on it might be accidentally turned off and also make sure that you have to delete the history in the Siri. For this just go over here in the settings over here. Now from here you have to keep scrolling down and you have to navigate to Siri over here. Tap on the Siri. Now from here as you can see by accidentally I have turned this off. Sometimes this even might be an issue. At the parallelly you have to make sure if you check over here in the Siri and dictation history you have to select this one and go for delete Siri and go for delete Siri and dictation history because this did work it for many users so you can try this out as well. Once you set with the Siri and dictation history you have to go back now you have to turn on the Siri and you have to set up the Siri once again. For this, I have to say, hey Siri, I have to go for continue. Hey Siri, hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, what's the weather's like today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, set a timer for 3 minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. Now the Siri is ready, so you can tap on and make sure you have to go back and try with calling on your iPhone. Hey Siri, and check whether the issue is solved or not. Most probably when you try this out, the issue has to be worked, but even if still the issue is there, we have to try with the next one. Next one, we have to give the permissions. I mean, you have to turn on the location. For this tab over here in the settings, 
now from here we just need to go over here in the privacy and security now from here over here in the location service you have to make sure this is turned on most cases this must be turned off if you turn this off the siri will not be activated so you have to give the respective permission over here in the siri and you have to turn on the location services once you turn on the location services you have to see whether the issue is solved or not but if it's still not working we have to go back there is one more step where you have to do is we just need to in the privacy and security we have to turn off lockdown so if we go to the bottom you can see there is a lockdown mode which is turn it on which is causing the issue for this tap over here in the lockdown mode and you have to go for turn off lockdown mode tap on this one and go for turn off and restart so this is going to take you a little bit of time so you have to give the respective passcode and you just need to wait so that the now the next step is all about you have to try with turning you have to try with turn off restrictions for this we just need to go over here tap on the settings now from here keep scrolling down have to keep scrolling down okay. now from here you have to tap on screen time now from here you have to tap on content and privacy restrictions and you have to make sure this should be turn it off you have to turn off the restriction you have to turn this off that is what you have to do and once you turn this off you have to see whether the issue is solved or not and also parallelly you have to make sure if this is turn it on as well you have to make sure in the allowed apps if you can see that the siri has to be siri and dictation should be turn it on as well so go back and what you need to do is we just need to turn off the restrictions and you can see the connectivity and privacy restriction is turned it on so you have to turn this off as well so once you turn it this on you have to go back now go back and you have to see whether the issue is solved still you are persisting with the issue the last and the least step is all about you need to try with try reset network settings for this we just need to tap over here in the settings now from here you have to tap on the general now from here you have to tap over here i mean scroll down and go to transfer or reset iphone now tap on the reset once again now there is an option called reset network setting just tap on this one reset your phone and see whether the issue is solved or not most probably parallelly have to make sure that you are on the latest version of software update as well so if any kind of pending softwares are there you have to update the software and this is what you have to do so these are the possible workarounds which you have to try out when you are having an issue with cd is not working on iphone and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more these kind of videos see you soon in the next video bye